Today we're going to be reviewing the ColourPop Muriel collection. I definitely had to look up who Muriel was and she's absolutely beautiful and she came out with such a beautiful collection. So I will be taking you guys through this collection and also jumping into a tutorial using all the products and sharing my honest review of the products. But before we do so, I would really appreciate if you hit that red button down below subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications so you get notified every single time that I do have a new video here on my channel. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the review. No, I'd rather be waking up with you Set up alone in your room Slept with the light on Waiting up for you Don't, I don't wanna be Let's go ahead and get started with the Control Alt and Glam eyeshadow palette. This is the Muriel ColourPop palette. You have the eyeshadow names on the back of the palette. I love the color scheme of the palette. Now let's go ahead and open it up. As you guys can see, it does not have a mirror, but it has really good size eyeshadow pans. You have a total of 12 eyeshadows. If you're into purples, this palette is definitely gonna be for you. These are all the swatches right over here. You can create a couple of neutral looks. Um, I mean, you get those three colors right here, and then you have a couple shimmers that you can also incorporate into those browns um, and the neutral shades. But majority is like fun colors. They're purple and then that pop of color blue. And then next we have a total of three Super Shock shadows. We have the color Just Playing. And then we also have Virtual Reality. And then we have Digital Batty. Moving on to the liquid liners. We have a total of three different colors. Here are the swatches of all three colors. Tech Girl is the light pink one. And then we have the purple one, which is called Utopia. And then the blue one is called Next Level. The blue one does not come off for the life of me. Oh my God, let me figure something out. <laughs> no matter what I'm doing, I've used my cellar water, the makeup wipe, and it's not coming off. So the next swatches are going to have this blue thing right here. But let's move on to these swatches. So these here are the... Cream Luxe Lipstick. We have three different shades and I gotta get them swatched for you. Hold on. This color right here is called Cyber Babe and this is a color that I definitely would gravitate towards. I am loving this. I don't think I'll like any other color as much as this one, but let's go ahead and swatch the other ones. This color right here is called, uh, what did I say? <laughs> Digital Twin. It is a nude, and I'm really not a fan of nudes. It's just not my cup of tea. These are very creamy colors. They do not dry down matte. The last one is called Gamer Girl. I wonder if she's a gamer girl. Muriel, is she? So Gamer Girl is a very muted pink. Again, not my cup of tea, so this is definitely my color. Here's a little close-up of all three colors. Again, I could not get that blue liner off. I am not going to be using that in today's video because I'm not trying to have stained lids. But you guys can see all three colors of the lipsticks. We're going to use the bottom one in today's video. This collection also has a lip gloss and this lip gloss is called So Glassy. Oh no, just kidding. It's called Player One. This is going to be a beautiful lip topper. You guys can see it has beautiful golden reflex. Let's go ahead and get started with an eye look. We're gonna use the eyeshadow palette, but before we do so, I'm gonna add a little bit of concealer onto my eyelid. I can't find my favorite, oh, I just seen it. My favorite eye primer is over there, but anyways, we're using the Huda Beauty Full Filter Concealer, and I'm distributing this all throughout the eye so that we can have a nice base for our eyeshadow application. And by the way, I'm using the Frankie Rose Concealer Brush number 91. I do have a discount code for you guys down below in my description box. I love this brush so much. Let's get moving with some eyeshadow. Kind of want to do a smoky eye with this palette. So I'm going to get started by using the color Circuit, which is this dark purple color. Now I'm going to be using a flat packing brush. This one here is from... I don't know, I just remember getting it in my BoxyCharm one year. I'm gonna begin to pack this onto my eyelid. I'm hoping I don't get any fallout. So far, I don't. I don't have any fallout, great. Now that I have it all packed on, I'm gonna start to soften out the outer edges of this color. 
slowly blending everything. I do take my sweet ass time when it comes to blending, so I hope you guys have some patience because beauty takes time. <laughs> and I'm really a fan of how this is blending out. It looks really beautiful and subtle towards the outer edges. Uh, we are going to be layering another color on here though. So now I'm taking the Sigma E33 brush and you guys can see this is a fluffy brush and we're going to be applying the color web. So now with web we're just overlapping that purple shade that we just used. We're working out, we're working on the outer edges blending everything out. You guys can see how beautiful these two colors mesh together, but we're gonna go the extra mile to diffuse this out. I wanna add another color underneath my eyebrow bone so that everything just, you know, gradient effect. So now I'm grabbing a much fluffier blending brush. You guys can compare the two. This one is definitely bigger, and this one is the Morphe Madison Beer eyeshadow brush. It's from her brush set. I think that one was definitely one of my favorite collections. I've reviewed it here on my channel, which I'll have it linked up above so you guys can check out that video. I don't even know if that collection is still available, but uh, now we're gonna go ahead and take the color So Meta with this brush. And I'm gonna apply this at the outer corner right here. I'm also gonna be applying it to the inner corner to soften up this area. What the hell was that noise? I think I'm going to go back into the color circuit, which is that dark purple color, and I'm going to be applying it on the eyelid again because as we're applying and overlapping the eyeshadows, we're losing the pigment, so I want to make sure it is like smoky-ish. And then I'm also grabbing the color web, which is the dark brown color, the second one that we used, and going in here again. I'm gonna take the Kylie Jenner eyeshadow brush. It looks like this. It's really, it's a really condensed brush. It has condensed bristles, and it doesn't have a number on it. It is from Kylie's latest collection with Wizard of Oz. So I'm gonna take the color Circuit, which is that dark purple shade, the first one that we used, and I'm gonna be applying it to my lower lash line and connecting it to the top. Okay, now I'm taking the color Avatar. It's this color right here, and I'm also using the It Cosmetics number 27 brush. I'm picking up the eyeshadow like this, and then I also wanna spray this. I'm gonna use the Benefit Professional Super Setter just so that we can prevent fallout. We don't want any shimmer on our face. I mean, you can definitely leave your eye as is and just go with the smoky eye, but I wanna apply this shimmer. And you know, since I am applying this color on top of that dark shadow, it's still gonna remain looking very smoky-ish. And I really like how this is looking so far. Hopefully you guys do too. Definitely happy with that. Now I'm gonna go into the Sigma E33 brush. This is the same brush that we used to apply this brown shade right here, but we're gonna go into the purple shade, the dark purple shade. And I'm gonna be applying it to the outer corner Closing off the eye like so. Okay, we're basically done. I'm a fan of that. Let's see. We can also use, why don't we do this? Let's do this. This is the Tech Girl Liquid Eyeliner. And you know what? Like, cross your fingers for me because I'm gonna do like a graphic eyeliner. Wish me luck. <laughs> and I'm, I'm about to look into my mirror. Yeah, smart Tracy, smart. <laughs> I'm so nervous about this. What did I do? Did we do okay? <laughs> I'm, I keep making it thicker and thicker. You know what, we're just gonna leave it. Honestly, that's all right with me. Should I wing it? I'm not gonna wing it. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same exact thing over to my other eye and then we're gonna come back and continue reviewing the products. I wanna say that graphic liner is not my expertise. I tried my absolute best to get both of them to look alike, but they didn't. At least you guys get an idea of what this liquid liner looks like, okay? This is the color, this is, this is me demoing it. <laughs> it's all crooked and shit. It's okay, girls, it's okay. 
We still look cute. Let's go on and try the blushes. So I think the one I really am gravitating towards is the color Virtual Reality. And then with this one, I'm gonna use the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH17 brush. It looks like this. It's angled and it's flat at the same time. We're gonna go in there and begin to apply the blush. I'm really applying a lot. Ooh, that looks really pretty. I think that this would apply so much better with a beauty sponge, but I'm trying to stay away from using sponges right now. I just feel like they're making me break out. I always blame something for my breakouts, and right now it's my sponges. <laughs> and then which lip did we say we were going to do? I think it's that one. Yeah. Okay, for lips... For lips, I'm doing the color Cyber Babe. There's no lip liner in this collection, so we're just gonna freehand this. Okay, so we're basically done. All right, guys, so that wraps up today's review of the, what, what's her name? The Mariel and ColourPop collection. And I hope you guys enjoyed me reviewing these products, although, you know, we have a little bit crooked, not symmetrical uh, graphic liner. This, this looks terrible, kind of looks all right thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to sit down and watch me play around with this collection i definitely enjoyed it let me know if you guys will be picking up anything from this collection and what product most intrigued you guys i definitely love the lip product oh you know what we didn't try this so glossy lip gloss let's put this on over what we have going on right now i mean the lips already look really nice and they don't dry down matte so Let's hope we don't make a mistake here. They're just gonna be extra shiny. Yeah, that definitely looks a lot better. That looks really pretty. Don't regret it. I'm gonna leave you guys here. Again, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe down below. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any future uploads from me. And I will hopefully see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Have you shopped with me yet? Go ahead and take a look. I have so many eyelashes, different styles to complement any occasion. I also sell eyelash glue. I have press on nail sets that I hand paint with love myself. I sell press on nail kits, which you can do your own DIY nails, or maybe you want to sell your own press on nails. I have so much to offer on my website, so go ahead and visit www.sonadoraofficial.com.